hello guys so uh, this is for beginners and intermediates I just want to show you how to quickly uh, write a uh, login and register form using HTML and CSS and of course in the next uh, videos uh, I will show you how to uh, write the back end of this um, some, uh, uh, small project like we shall write some PHP or Python script and also some MySQL database so this one is the login this one is the login form you can see uh, I'm using HTML5 uh, so of course uh, the first type doc type HTML HTML language English the head tag here we have meta set UTF-8 meta name viewport content the device with initial scale 1.0 the title is login form and of course we are linking uh, style sheet the CSS and the board of course the board is the main part of this uh, form so inside the board tag you can see I'm creating a div I'm giving it a class name container so the purpose of this class name is for styling and maybe future JavaScript and maybe HTML okay. in this case I'm going to use it for my styling Okay, then I have the header here, the heading, sorry, the heading to H2, login. I have the form action, so you can see uh, the action I've written, this backend.php. So these are future files, these are future uh, PHP files that I will write to handle the backend, and it will use the post mail or to post the form data to the backend. Then of course I'm creating the, you know, the fields, the, the username, the, the password because this is just a login form so okay i'm creating a div here a div class input group again i'm creating this class uh, input group because i will use this to style this specific uh, this specific field okay so the label for username username input type text id username name username required of course this one is very important uh, so that somebody don't skip a field when they're filling uh, when they're filling in the form. Similarly, I'm creating a div for a password, doing just this, exactly the same thing. Then, of course, here I'm creating a button type submit class button. Okay, again, this class I'm going to use this one to style the button. For example, if I want the button to hover and I want some color. Okay. so uh, basically my classes here the class I've created here is basically for uh, my CSS styling okay then uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to link uh, the register the register form so that in case someone is already uh, is not yet registered the first register and if they already register they just log in okay so just creating a paragraph here the paragraph tag uh, p tag then i'm anchoring uh, the register html this is another file that uh, i created okay that, that, that's all so literally just uh, just created three div the, uh, one for the username another one for the password uh, okay actual two div and of course this is the button uh, let me save the changes and then we can see we, we can run this uh, and of course since it's already linked to my uh, my style.css okay for the meantime let me alter this so that I it don't have the styling yet so that we can see uh, the changes when we apply the styles okay so let's run this let's debug it using uh, chrome okay. very fast let's do this so you can see here it is without end styling so we have there so you can see if you try to uh, to submit uh, without filling in this form at all 
please fill out this so this this uh, this is, is being handled by by this uh, keyword here require so that's it again we have the register this is the register again this register because uh, it's uh, so i have the register here let me also uh, alter this alter this okay so that we have it raw without any css you can see how it look like got login simple as that so the register uh, form just similar just similar everything except that for the heading here yeah, just register uh, the then we have an additional div here or additional field for the email and of course here yeah, the we anchor the we anchor the the, the login which in my case i call it form.html no problem you can name it anything you want and of course the paragraph just says already have an account login okay then i have the i have the css for both files so you can see the, the css very simple and straightforward font size background color now this one is uh, for the whole body so uh, uh, this one body uh, i'm styling this okay i'm styling this i'm styling from here to here similarly this from styling from here to here so uh, background uh, font family background color margin padding display just for content light items height then uh, yeah i'm coming for the login container so this uh, class styling you use the dot when you are styling a class you can see mm. i have this class login container also in the in, in this one i have this class login container so i'm styling okay everything So you can see I've used uh, classes here. Yeah. Dot login. Dot log. Dot dot. I've used dot because I have used classes. Okay. Somebody else would just use element selector. So I've used uh, classes selectors. You can use ID selector. It just depends on how you you write your HTML. HTML the structure of your HTML. So as it as simple as that. Now let me release the. CSS in both files. Let me, uh, let me release it. Both files. Just hold up. Okay. Save this. I think this one is already saved. That's all. Server is already running, so it's just a matter of. See now. Very nice, very nice for big now. You can see, this this is just a hover. I can show you here and the CSS and the button. This is the class that I created here. Sorry. This is the class that I had created, uh, had created for the button. If you, if this one. So I created created a class for the button. In both files. So that uh, I can style it here. You can see just this one over blue. You can see. Now this is a very simple thing, but for beginners they get some challenges. So this is how simple. In the next, uh, okay, in the next video I'm going to show you how now to link this to a back end and <laughs> store this information in a database, right? Yes. Yes.
can see so let's put something like this one we must put uh, something with an email format so uh, at, at gmail say something like this let go and then you could not, uh, your file could not be accessed. Uh, this is because you can see backend root PHP. You can see it's sending sending a request to the sending a you know, which I linked here. Look at this. Here it is. Here it is. But it is not existing. So it is trying to post to this file, but the file does not exist. So in the next video, I'm going to create that file, and then we link this uh, to the file, and then we, this file will insert uh, this information to a database, so that we can have some kind of uh, some complete project, uh, small, full stack stuff, kind of, you know, yeah. So, again, back in. So that's all. So, I hope uh, you just uh, okay. if you want to 